My name is Mark Fallowill. You're listening to another dumb podcast. These guys are freaking morons. Another dumb podcast. No, I like it. It's not dumb. It's called another dumb podcast. Yeah. Again, basketball dumb guy over here. Sorry. I On the dumb it. podcast. Let me start recording now. Go let clap clap for me. Oh, there we go. All right. There we go. What's up, Ray? Oh, this man, is the uh, first time we're talking to each other right now, right? Oh, yeah, dude. We've never talked before. God. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. What's up, Ray? I'm sorry to complain that this is probably the first time you've been on the podcast in well over two years. I'm not sure. Dude, uh, I can't even, I think I was still in school the last time I was uh, on the podcast. I was getting chastised for trying to do homework while podcasting. Yeah, I was like, all. can you focus a little bit? Do you know how big <laughs> this podcast is? There is tens to twenties of people's listening to this right now okay hey man doing numbies yeah i'm not a numbers guy but you know i'm just saying i gotta try to find out what number that was i'll just keep scrolling until i see i, th- I can't remember what i called it I, I i referred to your name in, we in the podcast t- we were talking there was a lot of uh oh it's ray day going on in a in america <laughs> there, was that time. <laughs> there was tension going on in america well that narrows it down <laughs> uh, and yeah, I, I, I really suck at uh descriptions because it's episode 63 ray day oh man i missed i missed i just missed 69 yeah i know i gave that to the aforementioned Jake Kemp. I gave that to him. Oh. Sorry, you didn't make it. <laughs> I literally stopped recording. I go, I'm not recording another podcast until Jake Kemp is on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> then we just began to have one of the... Do I still have that podcast up? Because I think I took it down for a little bit. I think I did. He get it back up. Uh, in fact, get him on tonight. Uh, I hear he has let me, news. Let me text him real quick. Hey, <laughs> yeah, hey Jake, say, hey. what are you doing? Because <laughs> here, gonna jump on this pod real quick. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna show you. Look, see my, see my phone. What does that say? Oh man, look yeah. at you. Yeah, he's he's a, not Jack Kemp. He is a dear friend. Yeah, I I can only talk to him during uh, through text messages and not through Twitter. Because he is, yeah. he is. That's a weird relationship to know that you've been blocked by your friend who's on Twitter. You can only text him. That's the only thing I did. You know, I've been on the opposite end. I've had uh, people block me in real life, but then not block me on social media. <laughs> you know what? I I don't want to have I want to be your friend, but I want it only at as an arm's length. So <laughs> yeah, I I still want to see what you're up to, but I in no way want to uh, d- have a direct line of communication. I just want to let you know, I dude, we're gonna be friends on Facebook, but I <laughs> just want to serve you with this restraining order for yeah. <laughs> you know, to be within a hundred. Dude, I'm sorry. We we recorded an emergency podcast. Uh, was it last night or the night before? It was the night before. And, uh, but I released it. When did I release it? Uh, was it the other night? It was today is one day ago. I released the Dan and Jake leave the ticket episode 108. And that was not a fun podcast. We were all like, like basically trying to, uh, analyze the seriousness of if Dan and Jake leave and. What does this retweet mean? Dude, that is the worst part of like all the little like uh, everybody's being cryptic and oh, Dan, uh, Dan, Dan and Jake retweet uh, 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 Saquon, uh, Saquon, what's his name? Quan Barkley? Saquon Barkley. Saquon, I don't know how to say his name. 
we uh, they all retweet uh, retweet his uh, requeef him. Requeef. Did, you say, did, you just, did you just say they requeef him? Uh, dude, Saquon totally <laughs> threw me off. I've had a few beers. I've had a few beers at uh at Hooters, so I'm gonna be nice and loose tonight. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah. Um. So no, yeah, and everyone's doing. Oh man, did you see what? Did you see what Bob tweeted out? He said believe and that he's an optimist. That means there's a chance. And then there's Corby. He says at the end of this, and I'm like, guys, I hate to tell you, this shit is over. O v e r. You know, I probably would have been like on their side because I was texting with Jacob about it. And the way, you know, Bob and Corby were talking and vague, being vague on Twitter, but trying to be optimistic. I was like, this kind, this feels a lot like when Bob and Dan were supposed to leave the ticket and they said their goodbyes at, uh, what was it, Summer Bash? That's right. Summer Was Bash of 2012. Yeah, so they, uh, they they thought they were gone leaving to go to the fan. And, uh, oh, no. Hey, Ray, inter- I just want to introduce you to my friend, Jay. Hey, it's Ray. It's Ray and Jay. A Ray but and Jay party. Ray. <laughs> That's okay. Is, Jay- is Ray okay? Oh, my God. Did he leave? You just offended Ray so much. He said, dude, Jay's in here, and I am leaving. No, wait, no. <laughs> there he is. Okay. How did I get kicked out? Dude, I don't know, but... Like, Ray, I don't understand. My network connection Ray is running. Seller. Ray is running off of uh, a 56K, like, modem. No way, dude. <laughs> yeah, he's got equipment. He's got equipment. <laughs> He, uh, Brad, is that a is that a comfort in or where are we where are we at right now? An extended suite? <laughs> you like? I got a full full refrigerator right here, bud. Uh, it's not too bad, dude. I'm not trying to flex on you or anything, but you know, yes. No, no, no. It looks a little beaten, but not a lot beaten. Dude, it is sort of beaten, but let me tell you. Okay, I know we're talking about J- uh, Dan and Jake, but I got to tell you a story that I was literally. Uh, I was ready to go home right after this instance. So not sad enough that, yes, I do have a full kitchen here. There's like a stovetop right here and everything. And I was literally making chili, which is pretty sad. But regardless. <laughs> like just heating it up out of the can? No, no, no. I was grinding. I was, you know, browning the meat, you know, getting that all situated. And I'm like, all right, you know, I've got a nice home-cooked meal. I don't have to eat fast food tonight. You know, it's a good thing. And a fucking roach just goes right underneath (laughs) my fucking feet as I'm cooking. And I said, I am fucking done. I am out of this bitch. I'm fucking done here. I am so out of here. Ugh, so mad. So so where are you at? uh, I I am in Louisiana. Oh, okay. Well... All, all adds up now. Yeah, I know. It's. It, I was told that that was the uh, the state bird. Uh, Louisiana. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so, all right. So, anything big in the news this week? You know? um, anything I, to talk about? Um, I think we're all right now discussing the censorship hearing and the UFO hearing that happened today on on Capitol Hill. So very important. Um, yes, this is very important. Things. Very important things. You're going to have to fill me in on that. I've been in court all, most of the day. That's so funny that you said you've been in court. I had a, a guy I've been working with that I work with who's – I'm trying to get uh, tons of things done, and he goes, yeah, by the way, you can't talk to me this week, and I can only text you. I go, what's wrong? I go, well, I'm in jury duty. I go, are you fucking kidding me right now? Like, I have <laughs> shit to do. I need you to be full I, in. I feel that energy. Yeah. Maybe uh, is he in Fort Worth? Maybe we're on the same trial. Maybe you were. Maybe you were. I'll, I'll give you. I'll text you his name later. Maybe y'all were working. <laughs> oh, I don't even. I don't remember any of the twelve <laughs> other people's names. Fucking Ray. <laughs> Sorry, you're a dork. But <laughs> he frags. Guilty. Jur- jury. Guilty. <laughs> guilty by a pure mind. <laughs> 
Dude. I still got the lingo down. Oh my god. He goes what, what, what was your tweet? Explain your tweet so you can look like a dork on audio. Yeah, so uh, finished up jury duty today. Four days on this jury. In fact, here, let me pull it up to refresh my memory. Oh, God. Um, I was just going. It says, four days of jury duty. Check. Foreman of uh, the jury, which I was. Check. <laughs> Delivered that guilty verdict. Check. And served him a life sentence. Whoa. Check. Yeah. Wow. This, this fucker's going to die. Fuck okay. him. I, oh, okay, I'm about to say. I'm going to – I cannot wait for the Netflix special that comes out soon enough in like five or ten years, and they go, we finally got him out of prison. <laughs> he was <laughs> not <playing again." laughs> <laughs> no, dude, no, not even about this case. Oh, he was wrongfully accused. And then we get Ray going, yeah, I did it, and I'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> dude, you're damn right I would. A lot of, a lot of his kind doesn't belong in our country type of talk. And... Like, I, saw, no, this, I saw him. This dude's kind for sure does not belong in this country. Did he drive a uh -uh. Dodge Charger? I, I don't I don't know his vehicle of choice. No, actually, I think they were driving a Honda. I think okay. it was a Honda. Whoa, okay. Is this like, is this like a drunk driving thing? or? No, this is uh, life. He'd have to be this... murdering folk. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's he true. Can't, he can't discuss the details of the, of the trial. Oh, I Not yet. I, I thought I'm it's done. over. Oh, yeah, it's okay. over. I can't. Well, then let's go. Fuck Jake and oh, fuck Dan and Jake. This is a murder <laughs> trial. Come on, let's go. It was not a murder trial. Oh. Um, it was indecency with the child uh, oh, sexual contact. Murder, murder, murder. <laughs> fuck that guy. Dude. Kill him. It's his second offense. Dude, this case was so fucked. Oh, God. Uh, I, dude, I don't even want to hear about the things dude. that you had to see, Ray. All right? I, it just... I, we didn't have to see anything that bad uh, you you hear details that make you squirm oh fuck make yeah. your skin crawl Good but this dude is the biggest piece of shit <laughs> i've ever seen and he's uh you know you look him up on linkedin he's got it he's like oh he he's calls on himself LinkedIn. A... he's on link can you type in that right over there <laughs> he's a. Uh, he type says he's the, the ceo of uh, what a roofing well... company it just means he owns a roofing company. Yeah, you can be the CEO oh. of anything yeah. you just yeah. make up or register. Let me tell you right now, I deal with the roofers, so <laughs> I'm not surprised, motherfuckers. All right, so a lot of kid diddlers. I, I don't know. I mean, I just saying. I, I just you already try to convince you to do a roof that you probably don't even need, so. If you can yeah, sell a roof, yeah, if you can sell a roof, you, you can, yeah. All right. Oh, man. Um, okay. So get this, dude, so, hey, yeah. get this dude's backstory real quick. I just want to tell you how fucked this dude was. This dude moves from Florida. He was in prison in Florida for, like, drug charges. Gets out. Moves to the panhandle of Texas, like Stafford, Texas. Y'all ever heard of that? No. I've heard of it. Really? Um, yeah, I've heard of it. So he gets up there, and within two years, he meets uh, this 13-year-old. He's 30 at the time. Knocks her up, right? And so then he turns himself into police, goes to jail for that for 12 years. You know, the girl has a baby, and then, you know, he's groomed her so much that... Uh, um, whenever he gets out of prison... She's waiting for him? She's waiting for him. And who does he assault as soon as he gets custody? I mean, they got custody. And this is two years after he got out. They get His... custody from the grandparents. Go picks up this little girl in Stafford, brings her back to Hearst. That night, he assaults her. His daughter. Well, that's bad enough. Hearst should have been the first red flag, and then... The yeah. assault 1A. <laughs> that is, yeah. I think life is uh, All think right. life is appropriate. Yeah, there. I was totally like, you know, 10, 15, and then I heard, but life. I'm cool with that. 
I'm actually yeah. Uh, yeah, in the state of Texas. Um, once you get your second, um, I'm glad we didn't do all sexual base. indecency ch- with the child <laughs> charge. That's automatic life. I'm sure glad we didn't do baseball rules with, with child diddlers. I hate when they go. Listen, you do. You do one more of those. I swear to God. I know you already did two, but I'm a baseball. I'm a baseball guy. You know? <laughs> And I'm Dude, like, okay, man. why did we even allow them one more? So, yeah. For real. Not in the state of Texas, we don't. Well, we don't fuck around here. They say recidivism, is that the right word? Uh, rates for diddlers like that shit, because, you know, they usually get like 10 or 15 years, are like huge. So I'm like, fucking, if they're dead to rights, like, boom, hang them up. Let's go. That's, yeah, why not? That's a uh, that was a trend on Twitter for me and Jacob for a little while. Whenever Fort Worth puts up their uh, you know most wanted, and we yeah. would just go four out of eight of these need to be just shot, <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> or or six out of eight of them <laughs> shot on a rifle. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's pretty. Uh, man, I've, ugh, I've I'm not saying I've. Uh, you know that that new movie just come out. Just come That's out. That's about to defend the, oh, the, the kid diddler. You talking about the? Is it the Sound of Freedom? The Sound of Freedom. Not the yeah. best name yeah. of a movie, but you know whatever. But I wonder, Is it? You know anybody who's seen it? I have not. I've only done like you the, know anybody that's tried to see it and a uh, these theaters somehow something magically goes wrong. Oh, I have heard have that. Have you seen all I those have, conspiracies? I have heard that conspiracy. Like, we tried to watch it. They turned off the air conditioning, and then they, we couldn't hear anything, and then we just walked out of the movie theater. Yeah. I don't know of the things, but I do, I've watched the videos of... Uh-oh. Well, I just got out of Sound of Freedom. Oh, my God. <laughs> just, 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 just a lot of... Guys, I, I don't even know. To, I don't even know what to say, guys. <laughs> just so, <laughs> just really distraught. I, I've only seen the preview, and I know this kind of minimizes it or whatever. Not, not but I watched exp- the preview. Not enough explosions for Jay. No, I, I watched the preview, and I was like, <laughs> "This could use a car chase right now." <laughs> Is Vin Diesel in this fucking thing? <laughs> I was like, one, The Rock was not in the movie. Yeah. The other thing is, I watched the preview and I was like, I mean, I've seen Taken before. I mean, this seems like just kind of an offshoot of well, that. It's, it's like Taken, but just, okay, they're about that old. Now we just just yeah, bring, bring it down a little bit. That is true. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't think it looked terrible or anything. No, I, don't, I, I, I was, because uh, I was trying to do like a, all right, I get it. Conservatives are totally on this. But let me go to a actual reputable, I say that, reputable YouTube mm. <laughs> reviewer. <laughs> <laughs> Ones that do, like, all the movies, you know, not just, all, all right, right, let me tell you what's going to happen in conservative Hollywood today. <laughs> like, I'm just, and they were like, yeah, this is a legit good movie. Like, everything, the writing, the acting, everything's good. On it. So, yeah, so I thought it was a documentary. Uh, man, I don't know, dude. I've seen the, I've, I don't know, man. I watched, uh, I watched the documentary on Max for Jared from Subway. Oh, yeah, I didn't watch that one. Fuck that, dude. You want to talk about life? That dude needs to get life. Yeah, like no doubt. How's he survive prison? Because man, dude, don't these. Uh, I'm uh, so sick of that. I'm so sick of that. It just be like. Listen, the prisoners, they they regulated, and they really, you know, like that Jared, uh, Jerry Nadler guy just got stabbed. Larry, Larry Nassler. Larry Nassler. Yeah. I don't know what the hell his name yeah. is. Jerry Lawler. Jerry, <laughs> <laughs> Jerry Lawler. Uh, yeah, he just got stabbed, and I'm sure he, like, ran in. He, like, hit an edge of something. They're like, he got stabbed. And it's like, he probably just, probably just skid his knee. <laughs> You know. I don't think it was him quite stubbing his toe. I'm sorry. I just I hate to hear that prisoners just go. You know I know that I killed my whole family, but god damn it, that motherfucker over there did. You know, 
I don't know. I also don't some think kids. we. Yeah, I don't think we have a great idea. I think we have our own narratives we create and what goes on in prison. I, I think a lot of them go. What's actual reality? Yeah, I, I think a lot of them. I think a lot of them. What I see in movies. Yeah. Well, I know, I know. It, and the one, the one child uh, predator that we know of that actually got murdered in prison was Jeffrey Dahmer. So we really just go off of that one, you know? Yeah, yeah. But you, you pick you pick the ones that fit your narrative. But I'm going to the t- other oh. 999 that nothing happens to them. You're, Ra- you Ra- don't hear about those. Raise my a. Uh, Ray, did we we graduated the same year, right? Yes, Brad. We were in the same <laughs> class at the, <laughs> sa- the same school, Brad. Yes. Uh, did you go to Barnett? No. See, look, there you go. But uh, the, I had to look up. So there was a, uh, there was a, I can't remember what the actual class was, but it was like a computers class. Uh, Generic. <laughs> yeah, just technology in, and stuff. Tech, <laughs> technology and stuff. Come on in. <laughs> but there was always, I had the other class that wasn't taught by diddlers. And then I would hear about this other guy. They go, oh, do you know uh, Mr. Voiles? Yeah, I know he's a creepy fuck. Because he had a... he had a uh, The way his desk was positioned, he'd have a, 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 uh, a note on the back of his computer saying, do not get up. Uh, <laughs> do, do not get up without permission and come over here or something like that. And I was kind of like, oh, I don't know. And then, you know, uh, did you ever get, like, the memo that everybody would get? You know, like, your teacher just automatically starts handing yeah. them out. And we all got it, and I didn't even look at it. It was one of those things, and I just heard all the kids were just either laughing or like, oh, my God, did you hear? Da, 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 da. And I'm like, what? And it's like, yeah, Mr. Voiles uh, tried to pick up a 13-year-old boy in England. <laughs> And they just arrested him. And uh, so just recently, like even like last week, I was like, you know what? I wonder if see if this is still and he's still registered. I don't know. I think he was charged back in like 2000, 2000 or 2001, you know. But yeah, I mean, creepy fucker right there. You know. I, I feel like there was a more moral of the story of this whole thing, but I just <laughs> I had a diddler that was in my world. How about that? <laughs> so. And you and Ray may have been in literally the same classroom. <laughs> Dude, you can't I didn't know that. Ray was even in my school <laughs> until three or four years after we graduated. <laughs> Dude, that's just like uh, Stephanie, who I'm still good friends with today. Yeah, I remember we were going to graduation, and we sh- she was like, Ray, wait. We're in the same cl- uh, class together. <laughs> were you like in remedial? You know it existed. Were, were you in like remedial classes where I wasn't in there, or like? I don't think he was in remedial classes. Were you he like might have just been quiet? <laughs> were you in the no, one? Uh, were you in the one hundred hallway? No, no, no. <laughs> Sorry, I just uh, so I wrestled in high school, and I just pretty much just hung around the wrestlers. I mean, I, mean, like I every, honestly did too, right? I think every sport. No, okay. Uh, were you around the, uh, was it the Aguinagas or whatever? Rudy and Ralph? No, I did not hang around the Aguinagas. Oh, that sounds like a tag team. <laughs> it's going straight <laughs> to the top. Break down to the Aguinagas. Yeah. What about uh, Kamardian? <laughs> yeah. Do you know who Kamardian is? No, he, he might know him as. Uh, do I know who Kamardian is? I'm not asking you, dumbass. No. I know. You know. <laughs> I don't think he would know him as Kamardian, though. Uh, no, nobody knows him as Kamardian. That would be no. that would be Kamaro Usman. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was I in. Know that name. He was in our class. Uh, this is his uh, backup in wrestling. Really? Yeah. Ray, that's his claim to fame. Is that yeah, if, I, I that, used to get my ass beat every day. He was he was literally like, dude, this fight against uh, Jorge Masvidal, he comes out, I'm always his backup. I'm always I'm ready to go. Dude, <laughs> I put up a better fight than this clown did. 
<laughs> I fucking love At least it. I got a takedown. Sorry, and I think uh, people were wanting us to talk about Dan and Jake. We not forty minutes of diddler talk, but oh man, yeah. Dude. Okay, I apologize. So, I think it's good we finally got finality to this whole deal. Uh, they could not. The, it, I I swear to God, they should have. Some people were like, we might not figure out till August. I think we just talked about that last last podcast. I'm like, yeah. I sure as hell hope not. <laughs> right. Cause... Dude, they had the whole fake thing with Corby come on the air yesterday. Here, here's what I'm going to say, dude. Fuck Corby. He's a fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know who, I don't even know who put him up to that. Like, said, hey, and so, Corby. Yeah, since when did he become the face of the ticket? I don't know. I'm like. Well, it's, it seemed like Bob was kind of playing into it as well, just on Twitter. Both of them. I'm like, guys. Up the the I Believe would... gif and all that. Yeah, and I'm like. Well, the best one was the chair, the DeAndre. <laughs> I did uh, see that. Yeah, the DeAndre Jordan chair in front yeah. of the door. Yeah, yeah that was I did. Good. I but, did see that. But yeah, that video today <clears throat> made it very much sound like that once a deal wasn't done after the end of June, that it was over. It was. It was nothing else to talk I, about. I, well, that's why I'm like, I'm glad y'all put the video up because, I mean, I was good. Go listen to the podcast before this yeah. that we just recorded. We were perfectly fine. But there was a lot of P1s out there that were still going, oh, you know, I still believe that just we believe. can do this. And we, you know, I, I prayed just for Cor, you know, Corby told me to pray, you know, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, you're a fucking dork, dude. It's fucking I'm over. I'm clutching these anal beads of prayer right now. <laughs> just, just rolling them around. It's like, guys, quit giving them hope. Like, if there's actual hope, if he actually believed, <laughs> you know, if he actually believed that there was going to be finality of like, oh, yeah, th I still think there is a chance. I think there is an actual chance. From the video that I listened to, he goes, you know, uh, the funniest part was uh, when Dan was like, and by the way, guys, I got to use the term. It's a non-starter. Oh, yeah. It's a non-starter, <laughs> yeah. A non -starter, which is great. Which is great. Dude, He, I think both him and Jake both realized that we are not the negotiators we once thought we were. <laughs> that, these, that these suits over here who probably manage millions and millions of dollars going, do we really want to give these guys an extra 20 grand a year? I don't think so. <laughs> right. No. Yeah, I like to they said uh, they just pretty much laughed in our face. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's exactly what happened and and it's you know, that's the nature of the business, but it's I mean, they're like, "Hold on, are we really talking about a goddamn mid midday show on in Dallas? I've got bigger fish to fry. I'm not going to talk about this for another 4 minutes, you know? It's not going to happen." So, I don't know. Well, uh, the other thing that I took was you know, if in that video of Dan and Jake had been really, really angry with the station or Cumulus or we were treated unfairly or whatever, like it would have fueled some of the other fire that's out there. But they were very much, well, they had discussions. We didn't get a deal. Just kind of the way it is. And we're going to try to find something else to do. There's no animosity. It's There's as plain like, as day as that. Here, yeah. And do you have something else, Ray? I was gonna say, I mean, I can, that kind of seems like their nature, though. Did they really seem like the the shit stirs? No, and I think their pr preference would have been to do a deal. They wouldn't have been negotiating for something, but oh, it didn't work sure. out. And and now you have, I don't want to see them go. It's you know, I think it kind of sucks, but I'm not. <laughs> oh, it sucks I'm not, big time. I'm not walking up and down the street with my head down or anything like that. Like we'll 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 move on. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I mean, there's there's a lot of talk in recent last 12, 18 months about let's give other people a shot at the station and let's do this, that or the other. For those people that wanted that, here's the opportunity. Here you go. Now people behind the scenes get their get their shot. But it just doesn't all, fit. all the people I wanted to get a shot are now over at the freak. Right. Well, they're getting a shot. And you, if you go look at, you know, at Brad, and maybe in a mirror, you kind of see the volume of their audience that they're getting a shot at. But and hopefully that'll improve because there's good people over there. But nobody's listening to that thing. And <laughs> right now, 
I'd be kind of surprised if it's still around a year from now. There you go. But we'll, you know, we'll see. But I mean, they could add some people. We'll mark that down. But I, 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 dude, I, I was a little more optimistic than I was a few days ago after. But then I, I've talked to some insiders, and I, I don't know. Doesn't look good, pal. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah, you know, with uh, Jake and Dan leaving like this, it would have been a lot harder to take. The station's gone through so much, you know, really upheaval these last two years that, you know, it's like, okay, you know, they're moving on, whatever. You know, if they would have been the first one to rip that Band-Aid off, right? Yeah. You would have been like, oh, my God, this really fucking sucks. But, you know, whatever. No, well, I, th- I think it is just that final, like, okay, right. this is definitely just not the station that, you know, I I mean, Jay, you can say whatever you started listening to the station. You know, I I was not a day one P1. I definitely had heard it throughout my more or less adolescent years, but really got into it whenever I graduated or in high school to graduate high school, like where I'm full time listening. Um, but, you know, I'll go, oh, well, this is nothing like it was back in, you know, 2007. This is nothing like that, you know, and it's not a bad thing to be like, yeah, it's totally not that anymore. And, right. you know, yeah. I understand. You've, you've had three or four, three or four stages of that because yeah, for sure. By the time you get to the late 90s, 2000, 2001, it was nothing like it was the first couple of years. Because the first year or two of the station was very collar intensive. The first, maybe more than the first couple of years. Yeah. And then, yeah, it's probably a lot different in 2009 than it was in 01. And now it's, it's, it's in like fourth or fifth kind of phase of the station. And I don't, we don't know what's going to happen moving forward. If it ends up just being Sean and Donnie doing three or four hours during the day, or I, you know, there's always the, Bob and Dan came from other markets and brought in. What, what, what if six months, 12 months, 18 months from now, they've brought in two people from middays that are awesome and are hilarious and we love them. And they're not Dan and Jake, but it's still good radio. It's going to be, I mean, that's still it's really going to be table. hard. It's going to be really hard to, to reunite anything like that. And that's, yeah. that's what, I mean, with, I don't remember who exactly was the – I think it was Bruce Gilbert was the guy who got Bob and Dan together because originally it was Bob and Mark, Mark Falwell, they wanted to have, okay. which mm-hmm. I love those two guys. But that would have been a pretty terrible show. <laughs> like and They were like, dude, yeah. we've obviously got to put Dan with Bob. You know, That was just obviously the best combination of the whole thing. But And that took a long time to – chemistry wise and to be accepted by the listeners oh, yeah they were was... yeah they were obviously the 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 kids in the crowd where we were like if bob and dan fell off we would just put the you know put the next rocco pendola or whoever else mm-hmm. back in but then after a while you're like oh you know bob and dan can't leave you know that right no, like they cannot leave that's what 2012 right. was yeah do you think it was easier back then for them to bring in outside host and introduce them into this market through into that radio station, you know, they're primarily an AM station still then. So, you know, their listener numbers while strong and loyal weren't the numbers that they're putting up today. I think it was, yeah. I mean, and that was 99. Well, when Dan came over and Bob, I think joined in probably the year before that, I can't remember if he was 97 or 98 98. when he first came over. I think it was 98. Yeah, but I mean, you're at that point, you're five years or less that it's been around. I think it's much tougher now. I mean, that's been a, gener- a literal generation ago. <laughs> so it'd be if if they don't fill the spot internally, it's going to be unbelievably difficult for one person or some, you know, out of market duo from Birmingham to come in and take over middays and be accepted. It's going to be. Very challenging. What's what's that guy who literally went to Birmingham with what's his name? <laughs> <Was> it, uh, <laughs> I forgot his name already. But 
Uh, oh, I, oh no, Matt McLaren. Matt McLaren, yeah, that's the name. That's who it is. I, I still follow him on Twitter. What's what's he <laughs> doing now? I guess he'd be selling insurance I, or something, right? No, I think he still <laughs> ha, I think he still has a show out there. Oh, that's good for him. He, he nice made it guys. longer than TC did outside the market. Though, though, going <laughs> going back to the previous thing where he uh, he had, he went to prom with his, I don't know, I I think he's actually divorced, but he went to prom mm. with his uh, girlfriend, and he was I think thirty. I think he was, and yeah. And we were all like, <laughs> "It's funny," and now it's like, "Wow, Matt, that's weird." <laughs> What a groomer. <laughs> yes, a little bit of groomer. So, I don't know. A, a I, little, a lot of it. Yeah. but I, Do you think that um, they're just going to merge the 10 to noon and 3 to, or noon to 3 shifts together? I wonder if they could find, like, another norm. Like, another guy that they can go, let's throw some old F over here for two hours and then we'll fill in the midday kind of thing. I don't know. Bring Dale Hansen back? No. Sean Salisbury? Oh, my God. <laughs> Newey Scruggs uh, needs something to do. <laughs> oh, fuck, fuck him. Yeah, I don't know who. <laughs> I'm trying to find just the spare of spares. Mike Ducey, does he need something to do? No. <laughs> um, some of it's going to be just internal for sure. I mean, because Donovan... Is not going anywhere, so no. I mean, he's going to be in is the this mix. But... Justin Montemayor's time to shine. Oh, I did want to bring that up. Was uh, dude, it's the biggest little thing I've been following on the the ticket Reddit, and they go, guys, can we talk? Can we finally now talk about walk uh, work in progress, fill in the spot? And I go, and it, well, oh. they had said it before the whole thing started, and I go, yeah, that'll save this station. <laughs> and i'm not trying to be mean i'm just like yeah i mean sure go for it but it's not like wow we got work in progress we got justin montemayor and david mino yes that, hallelujah i mean i kind of like when they're on but it's 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 very much a fill-in show on a it's saturday a, it's show. a nice weekend show and uh and i Is know I know what a fill-in show, weekend show that gets its own slot looks like because that's what Ben and Skin is and the, the scam that they've run for the last like 15 Ooh. years. Go, 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 go. <laughs> You're talking about... You want to talk pe- about the about, biggest from, phonies show, in this town. Is... Just from their show standpoint, not personally, but from their show standpoint, <laughs> just having absolutely nothing and just hanging on and being fired from... Is there a station they haven't been fired from? They're technically we'll never out in a year. <laughs> they technically have never been fired, Jay. Oh, okay. Their contracts just ran out. They, they, yeah. they left. They, they didn't release any YouTube videos. I think they might have. Was that the well creative that they were shooting in their office? Was uh, that Saroy off mic? Uh, that was uh, Cash, I believe. Hmm. He uh, has his little. Uh, Whatever his his racket that he has going on. <laughs> yeah, I think it's called the Well Creative. Yeah. Or something. Collective? He makes... Creative. He does bits and skits and trading cards. It is <laughs> like, worth like a billion dollars. I literally... Uh, I'm, what Can I'm we try- sidebar... What- I was trying to do a when Dale Hansen. I don't know cards. his world, but whatever, it's part of mine. Yeah. <laughs> When did opening packages of trading cards get to be such a racket? Uh, I don't know. No when idea. did MPC on TikTok become a thing? So, do you know anything about that, Jay? I don't even know anything about NPC? that. So, is that does that stand for non-playable character? TikTok. Let me see if I can share this. Um, yeah, Have it's, you guys... it's, it's kind of like, um, you know, with YouTube, you can go around and elicit uh, donations of any sort. Now they just have, and I don't know why this isn't working. Jeez. Is this the one where they'll stream and someone will send them an apple or yes. something? And they'll, and go, and they'll, be like, they'll fake it, eat it? Yeah. And they'll just go, Ooh, beep. that was a good apple. Mm-mm-mm. Beep, beep, beep. 
Yeah. I don't understand anything, but this is a what thing. a waste of time. Did you not see the post that I had where I was like, "This, this is uh, Dan and Jake's future." Well, apparently my search bar is not really working, so that's fun. Yeah. So regardless, just go look it up. Still producing on the fly, huh? <laughs> and with guys, one hand, uh... I, I didn't. I packed everything but a fucking uh, mic stand. So that's fun. You guys sold all your NFTs, put the, put all that money back in the bank. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, now your, no, your, I'm top, not, your top shots. I'm holding on to my board apes. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to come back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> can you see anything on my screen now? Get that yeah, I got it. Uh, yeah, I can see it. Okay, cool. This is this is a why do they why hold NPC. on why do all these streamers look the same? I don't know. They're a marshmallow. Crunchy corn, yum. I can't hear anything. You can't hear anything. This looks awful. No. I think the whole thing is. I don't know if I want. I don't want to hear it. Oh, okay. Well, all I know is she's just uh, the audio listeners. Oh, 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 pumpkin, yum. This is awful. Is she supposed to be a fucking elf or something? <laughs> I have no idea. It's all strange. And you know, you wonder why all these kids these days, as I sound like an old man, think that they can just be streamers well, online and have no aspirations. Oh, I know. But I did read an article saying uh, one of the, the pioneer... NPC TikTokers, would you like to know how much they made a day? Is this one is like seven thousand or something yes, like that? Yes, makes seven thousand a day doing <sighs> doing. Hi. Mm, num, 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 num. Sound like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> That's what they were doing. Hi, friends. You just got to be the first. You yeah. got to be the first to think well, of it and do it. It's like the whole thing with like, I'm gonna go back to porn, like. <laughs> Like the first chick, Mark. the first, <laughs> the first chick to like really do porn. It was like holy shit, holy shit, and then everybody's doing porn for three hundred dollars, and it's like that wasn't worth it. That wasn't worth it. <laughs> I don't know. So, um, R.I.P. the Hang Zone. Uh, we wish them the best. I don't know. I mean. They're going to be fine, I guess, or they won't. I don't know. Jake's, like, got a master's degree, and Dan, I sure hope, saved his money. He's pretty much an empty nester now, so that's cool. I mean, I'm sure they've got money, the both of them. Now, uh, do you think Jake was trying to negotiate a salary that was higher than Kristen's? And that's, that was the hang-up? <laughs> yes. He goes, I swear to God, if I don't start making more money than my wife, I will be losing it. <laughs> <laughs> and, they, one, and they literally one stipulation they literally come down one dollar below chris and he's like are you fucking kidding me no we're done we're leaving <laughs> now here i just thought of this are they going to start a podcast network with norm <laughs> you know he's a, norm says he's going to do a podcast five days a week <laughs> Uh, I would, but he doesn't know how long it's going to be. Maybe I would it's 15 love. Minutes, maybe it's forty-five. Number one, I would love to see the numbers on that, and I would love to see the norm listener try to go. How the hell does this work? <laughs> like, like, I have no idea how this works. I just turn on the radio and Norm's on, and now he's not. You know, I'm sure Dan and Jake could as a. Will it, I mean, they could do they could do a, a video podcast. Will it be more po uh, uh, successful than the Blowout Podcast Network? Is that what it was is called? That the, it, is that the I mean, still, thing? It still exists, technically. <laughs> Wait, were, uh, weren't uh, you a part of that? Yeah, I never saw any of that seat I'm about money, to say, though. Yeah. I got on the tail end of that. Say, are you still waiting for your check? I'm, I'm still waiting for my royalties. Well, maybe I was, I was advised that I would probably not see any of that. <laughs> and today we're going to be brought to you by da -da -da -da, and Jay gets none of this. We we weren't brought by anybody. Okay, we are brought to you by SeatGeek. 
Yeah. At Seat Geek, we remind you, fuck Jay Cranfield. <laughs> yeah. I just want to let you know. Uh, we but get yeah, all still, these ad dollars, and Jay's getting none of it. It still exists, but it only has IJB posts there, and then Trey's video game podcast, and uh, there's another one that i forgot what it's called there's wasn't, like three of them now. wasn't there a uh, mma one i always like the name of that mma one there was below the belt below the belt i like that one well that's going back to like 2017 2018 well aging me a little bit wasn't that yeah. guy's name brad uh yeah professor brad and ryan was the other guy yeah we, sh- we should get him on the pod if you can track down Brad, that's a, he's an interesting uh, convo. If you can get him on the get him on the line, it's very mysterious. I like it. I like it. it. Yeah, you he's are like the, the smartest man who struggles the most financially. I oh, mean, I feel that energy. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyways, yeah, you are correct. Only it's just Banner riding the Taurus. What the hell is that? That's the other one. What is that? Uh, I, I think it's about like being smart, knowledge. I'm not interested in that. <laughs> Sounds too smart in, for me. I don't like that. I'm interested in like podcasts about dolphins and how attacking many, people. How many and syllables do they it. use? I don't know. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't need all them books. I don't need all. What I, I told Dustin to read a book earlier, and he got all upset about it. I <laughs> said. It's not the worst thing I could have told you. I don't know. <laughs> well, <he> was... So, <laughs> go ahead. Is is a I mean, a podcast network? Is that really? That seems like a very needle in the haystack. Uh, that this is going to work out really well. I'm glad we're going to lead the. Po- I'm gonna. I'm glad we're going to end the podcast on this about how po- okay. how dumb podcasts are. I think I actually had a episode a couple Whoa, ago. Oh man, they're terrible. They're terrible. No one listens to them. Don't listen to post game beers. It's not good. No, no. Every, everyone's <laughs> listening to. Dude, we're doing mad numbies. See, you, not a numbers you guy. You want to know our numbers right now? No, dude. Everybody last... came. You know, this is not a trend that was new. It was happened like there was a real big bust like in 2015, 16, where like you know Snooky and Snoop Dogg have a podcast. And then they were like, yo, dog, I got to do this every week? No, I'm not doing it. Like, <laughs> And then it, then it really blew up during the pandemic where now everybody has to have a podcast. Yeah. And, uh, you know, wow, we're all listening. To it. And then, the, then we were now allowed free to go outside and goes, okay, I don't know why we need all these podcasts. So Dude, we published a podcast three days ago and we've got 186 listens. We are doing some numbies, brother. You bring in the bring in the bucks from that. Have you made more money doing post game beers podcasts or, or what you got at jury duty the last <laughs> four days? Um, I think on the podcast, we're he probably had to negative. think of that. He had to think of that. That no, was that negative. was a that was a quick thing. Like, yeah, it's just a bullshit hey, thing we do, he, Ray. It's it's fine. He, <laughs> yeah, you're you're fine because yeah. I've I've probably done. Oh, I was trying to think of how much money we lost. No, we're totally uh, in the negative. I mean, look, <laughs> yeah. we're in the negative. It's right there. Yeah, <laughs> the thing I'm holding point, right I've now. I've done hundreds of these, and I've never seen a cent. <laughs> what did so I? What I had did somebody I say? come by and. Drop off a, a mixer at my front door to you know to help with audio. That's the only benefit I've gotten out of this whole thing. Yeah. Other than you know some great conversation and lifetime friendships. Exactly. Outside that's all that, that really matters, right? That's, no, that stuff. Is that's worthless. the biggest. <laughs> I give it all away. So I just gave me like five hundred dollars. <laughs> Dude, uh, would you pick me being the friends or <laughs> no? <laughs> I'm gonna go ca- cold hard cash. Yeah, <laughs> you have to owe us some money from Anchor, like at least forty cents or so. What did I say? I said if we ever oh, one beer, right? I get you yeah, one right. beer each. It literally that's is, right. and that's from like a very expensive joint. And and I I don't know. Yeah, we really got to pump up the numbers on this one. But 
like I was saying, uh, we got to give the people what they want because me and Jay could review Back to the Future and no one listens. <laughs> but we talk about Dan and Jake and all pickled dumb stuff, and everyone's like, I want to listen. <laughs> <laughs> How many know. listens did you get on your uh, emergency pod the other night? How many are you up to? Uh, probably probably 100 something. I don't know. It's probably gone up. It's not bad. Oh, 106. <laughs> That's pretty good. Did. That's pretty good. Look at that. You know, that's viral. What... You uh, you've gone viral. Well, I can tell you from the other podcast, it was not that good. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, why are y'all not listening to the other stuff? That was even more interesting than this. <laughs> but all right. I don't know. I just. I'm sure whenever you're getting a bigger name guest on, those would be boosts. Oh, uh, well, that those are like legit. Like I still have. Um, God damn it, where's the analytics? I still have it at the pot. Would you like to guess the top five? Uh, it's, uh, I'm just like, what is the name of my podcast? <laughs> another dumb podcast. <laughs> Would you like to name the top five another dumb podcast episodes? Uh, that, Greg, in, as far there. as listens? As far as listens. Number of listens? Yeah. Grego. Boom. Number one. Yeah. Bob. And that was that was like the number two. first second one, right? Greg uh, six. That was in my sixth, sixth one. Spot. Technically, oh, yeah. technically eight, but there was two podcasts that started out, and I go, "We're not releasing those." They're, 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 yeah. I think I released I them and then took them off. Number three's uh, Sam Gannon. That was a good episode. Uh, Sam Gannon, sadly, which is a great episode. Uh, just because of like the everybody go listen to that fucking podcast. It was a good podcast because me <laughs> and good about, episode. me and Sam talked early into the uh, uh, pandemic where Brad was legitimately scared. <laughs> like he was like, "I am going to be the first one to die." <laughs> so please, everybody. <laughs> I mean, this is like two days after the pandemic. I was like losing my mind. And me and what Sam, about the one that um, with Jeff Cavanaugh. And Amanda was on it. Uh, Jeff Cavanaugh is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the list. Eight. That's what about Mark, the one with uh, Mark Followell? Uh, you know what sucks? And fuck all yous. That is not even on the top ten. Not any of the episodes with Mark Followell. <laughs> I, I'm just disgraced that that that's not one of the po- top. Oh pop. man, disgraced. Um, Sh- Shelley Luther. Um, Shelly Luther's not on the list. That is a that was a bomb ass podcast. What, about, Sh- what was that lady's name? Uh, oh, Keisha God. Phillips or something? Ke- Keisha that, Thomas, I think her name is Keisha Thomas. The, they did a podcast with you and then like did a cease and desist, dude. She, that was, <laughs> I don't, I don't want to do a podcast. That was one of the more odd recorded. She goes, yeah, well, I'm going to get off this podcast now. And can you send me the full file? Because if you, like, edit it up and make me look bad, I'm going to sue the shit out of you. And I go, oh, okay. yes, ma'am. Uh, all right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't listen to I, I appreciated I listen your to work one. of covering up that Nazi or, or KKK <laughs> member. I appreciate it. Jesus so, Christ. Is Dan mean, McDowell my, one? Or uh, Dan McDowell uh, should be up there. Uh, Dan McDowell for some fucking reason is not he is not um okay so first obviously is greg the hammer williams uh next one is the bob Sturm show uh what kind of numbers did those do uh the greg the hammer was 4856 listen that's a big and let me tell you second place is way behind (laughs) (laughs) i think our biggest episode's done like 500 (laughs) yeah uh bob Sturm show uh i hate to reveal all these numbers but i really i guess i don't really care uh bob Sturm show is definitely it's almost 1200 listens on that one it's respectable number it's really good number three was obviously the people who were thinking they were looking for the grego show ended up in at the grego post game show with with, with jacob <laughs> <laughs> that one that one with me and jacob got 656 um now can you look on that episode and see how far people actually uh, oh i know yeah i think episode. you can't i i can't do it on my phone but yeah there is like a 
it's so funny like the bob Sturm episode like everyone listens all the way through everyone's into it mm -hmm. and then there's other episodes it goes two minutes in <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> out <laughs> boom out uh, this is sucks um the fourth episode is gordon keith versus mike soroy which did I do that with some? Mm. Uh, I forgot. Oh I'd... no, I was on that one. Where is that? Yeah, that was your episode. Yeah, you really? That was like right out a year ago, right? Eh, I think so. And we were, and I feel like we were correct on basically everything. Uh, I mean, that we said in that episode. Ex explain to me when we've ever been wrong. Oh, well, that's <laughs> yeah, true. That's so, true. my personal favorite, the. Goran Dragic is sister Dude, that's, episode. That's and that's and it's a disgrace that that's not even in the top ten. That is the okay. best episode ever. That was the best like chemistry driven show that we've ever done. Ray's probably never even listened to it either. It's dude, I'm telling I'm telling you right now. You can go back and listen to it. It's on yeah. the archives. It is by far one of the best shows we ever did because it was one of those like this is it was during the NBA bubble was the like the time frame. Oh, dude, you know what I just realized? The Dan McDowell show is not published. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized no, that. No, I could have. Everybody. Man, I swear I listened to that. Every episode. Well, I think I pulled it off and then put it back. Or I oh. pulled it off and I forgot to put it back. And that one hit 500 and some odd episodes, whatever. Man. That one could have been doing numbies. Oh, dude. Missing the, hey, everybody. Especially go now. Episode 45, bud. That was a fucking great. Dude, that was so chill. I was, you know how good a podcast is going? I go, so how much time you got, uh, Dan? And he goes, well, I got till about Sunday. And it was like Thursday or something. <laughs> it was like, you want to just talk all night? Like, we could have got our pillows together and like just started. Just What's going just on? What are so you, you hang up? What are you, no, you hang up. What are you, you up to? Oh, me and Dan were. Okay, I'm gonna fall asleep. I just you just stay on the line. I I'm understand. I, I can understand why it was probably hard. Um, do Julie Dobbs? That's not even close. Okay. Oh, our our call ends in ten minutes. By the way, that nah, needs to end anyway. It, it's we're on. we're fifty six minutes in right now, so I think that's yeah. about perfect time. I'm trying to find the freaking Gorn Drogic. I thought it was a little, um, I thought it was August. Did you pull that one too? No, 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 no. Yeah. That's only 133 plays. You fucking animals. <laughs> you fucking animals. That is a way better <laughs> podcast. Um, <laughs> Just the, the premise of all the Eastern European players not understanding <laughs> what was going on during that time. Just in American having culture. to explain what Black Lives Matter is and why it matters to them. <laughs> it's so great. Just be like, I don't understand. <laughs> why are we... I understand Black Lives Matter. Why does that? What does that have to do? Why am I not playing? Because <laughs> uh, that was the whole thing. It was uh, it was the hockey players were really pressing. It was like, there's like three black guys in the entire league. Why are we even? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'll explain. Um, anyways, uh, big one also when Reiner uh, quit. God, I can't believe that was episode nine. Oh, yeah. It was the beginning of 2020, yeah. Yeah, it was. And then uh, T.C. Fleming. Do, do, give me your hot shots on the T.C. Because Jay was on that one. Yeah. that was a... All I remember with that one, and I thought it was good, but he also, it was weird. We talked to him for a long time. Yeah, we went almost two hours, I think. It was, it was weird that he never got on video at all. Oh, no, dude, I remember whenever he uh, he was the first one that got on, and then you guys all kind of followed up. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, hey, TC, can't see you. And he goes, yeah, I really don't want to turn it on. I go, okay, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> it's perfectly fine. But it was – I, I know what you look – I thought that one was fine. I was, I was wondering, like, what are the things that TC's doing as the camera's off as we were – all right. Yeah. That's fair. That was we, we had we had Blake Jones on. 
Oh, that was, that was the one that Blake Jones, re- uh, Jay really was like, hey, we need to really uh, go back and uh, really drill him on uh, Sandy Hook. <laughs> yeah, his conspiracy <laughs> stuff. I just remember he was just in a closet the whole time. Yeah. You know, I've you were seen, on that. I, I forgot you were even on that one. Yeah, yeah. I've you seen were on Blake out in the wild, like probably over ten times at Railhead Barbecue in Fort Worth. He, yeah, he does the coaches show. He technically directs that or whatever. Oh yeah, Blake's a good uh, dude. For every TCU coach, he's just always sitting in the corner by himself. I feel bad for him. He's a he's a great dude. Just go over there and talk to him. Yeah. He's one of those guys who gives me unsolicited advice of on things. I remember I was struggling with the podcast on some audio, and he just direct messaged me. He goes, hey, have you tried doing this, you freaking moron? Like, this is, this is all you got to do. I'm like, oh, yeah, I guess that is a good idea. I don't know. It is like what you did to try to help us when we first got going. Yeah. Um, Peter Welton, that was a very awkward one, but that was all right. I like Pete. Nobody? Probably because you weren't Andy. Pete's okay. I mean, he's, he's that was fine. all right. And we had, uh, who was the other guy that was on with us for that one? His name Brian. Brian. We had somebody else who was on. Okay. I was oh, thinking of this. Brian Jones. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um, just random people we've had on here. Wasn't there somebody we had on that was like, a, <laughs> was it a friend of Jacob? <laughs> that we just just a random guy that we did an entire episode with, yeah, and then we never spoke with him. We ever never again. talked about him ever again. I literally don't know his name. He was just some guy. And then there was another podcast where me and Jacob were trying to figure out this whole like how we were going to talk. I mean, we just like messaged, "Hey, who wants to?" We just got to test out this thing, and some guy just was over there. He was like sitting by a tree smoking a cigarette. <laughs> he was like, "Hey, what's up, guys?" I'll listen in on this. And you're like, all right, thanks, Kyle. (laughs) All right. He's like, yeah, I'll listen to the ticket. Ticket's great. I go, all right, cool. All right. Dope. That could be something you try maybe one more time. Just throw out the link and anybody wants to join. No, 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 no. It has to be like, it cannot be just open. We've already tried that. It has to be we solicit, like, hey, if you want to talk, if you want to get on the podcast, give us a shout or DM us. Because I remember one time and where we didn't get the link. They got we the got link, and we got hacked. Time. We had to all yeah. hang up because they hacked. They hacked the. I don't know how they even did it. Yeah, well, there it was. Yeah, there was also another time a guy joined, and he had kind of a weird screen name. That implied, I don't know, I something think, night or something. Yeah, I was like, I think that guy might be in the KKK. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, and he had a couple of questionable comments. We were like, yeah, man, I think we're going to let you go. Uh, yeah. I think we're going to we'll check you back on the next about one. done here. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's cool. It's all right. I mean, Did you just start dropping in, in bombs? No, I don't remember. It wasn't that bad, but it was, we had a real weird vibe you in about dropping 90 seconds. in bombs. <laughs> You go full like Clayton Bigsby. Yeah, that was a good joke, by the way. That Jake didn't get enough uh, attention for on the, the video today. Yeah, when he's like, you know what ninety-year-olds say, and he's like, what the N-word? <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's exactly what it is. Okay, uh, all right. Well, everybody, go listen to the Dan McDowell show. Probably one of my favorites. Uh, people don't realize should, that that was a tweet it. that was a real uh, Pulp Fiction episode. The middle of the episode is the start, and in the middle is the f- is the start. Does that make sense? No. Okay. <laughs> I need a safe shot after listening to that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what my, my energy just drained. I apologize. I got three minutes left to explain. When we when me and <laughs> me and Dan had a podcast, the day um they found out Joe Biden was gonna be president. So it was like all in the air and we were talking and you know for some reason me and Dan get all politicking. So we get like twenty or thirty minutes in 
And he goes, you know, I don't really <laughs> like any of this. Can we not put this in? Like, can we do this in a uh, the like paywall or something like that? And I'm like, I don't know. It would, <laughs> hold on. We'll just do this. <laughs> hey, hey, Dan, how are you doing? Welcome to the podcast. And then we just started the podcast again. And then we put the stuff that Dan didn't like that people would most likely drop off from. We just put that in the back. Yeah. Does that make sense? It yeah. makes sense. It makes, makes a sense lot now. it makes a lot more sense now yeah, when I actually explain that. Yeah. I apologize. Just, I don't know what that first explanation was. <laughs> but I was like you just kind of turned around in a circle and said, Hey, I'm still here. Was... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Well, I I'm sorry. I'm a little tired. Oh. I've had I've had a full Hooters night of beers, so <laughs> You know, awesome. Where I did ready to go crawl into bed with your cockroaches? Yes, they're all ready for me. I'm going off in, and uh, it's kind of like a Joe's apartment. Vibe and going. and do you agree that all the all the cooks at Hooters are totally taking a run at every waitress at all times? Okay, name a name a restaurant where that doesn't happen. <sighs> I know. I don't know. But is it just a like an accepted thing? Hell, all those cooks are probably their drug dealers, the waitresses' drug dealers. And if you want a little bit of a discount, this is the way it's going to yeah. go. All right. Okay. Ray, Jay, thank you so much. I missed you guys. I really haven't seen y'all in a while, so it was nice. Ray to... J. Ray J. That's right. <laughs> Makes great things happen out there. Dude, did we just make a fucking midday show? <laughs> I'm in. All right. Thank you, guys. Sure. Appreciate See it. See you, boys. See ya.